I am the one who did absolutely everything because I'm the king. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 26 of Legend of Zelda Link's Awoke. Last time, we very easily cleared uh, Eagle's Tower, which I'm still just as surprised as you are, if you're watching. But, uh, our best friend is missing. Our best friend is missing. Where is he? I need my best friend. Like, how, how can we ever go on without him? I miss you. Come back to me. I made you a muffin. I need to look everywhere for him. Where is he? I had to go. I had to backtrack all the way from Dampai Shack all the way to here. Where is he? Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, so you got a new best friend, huh? Woo, finally. This flying rooster is the greatest. Hey. I'm going to murder all your chickens. If you absolutely do not knock it off. I'm going to absolutely. Anyone who messes with my chickens has no business in my coop. The coop. I'm, I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Kick me out. That's what you get for stealing my best friend. Well, whatever. <laughs> it matters not to me. I don't need him anyway. I don't need him. I can just hook shot all the way. Hi, Marin. Somebody help! Hey, Link. Some monsters put me up here. What should I do? I'm afraid of heights. Don't worry, I'll save you. <laughs> Yo, that was a surprise. Link, thank you. No problem, baby. Say, Link. Um, I don't know how to say this, but... Marin! I'm here to interrupt your possibly romantic moment! Huh? Taryn? Uh, never mind. You you could just tell me why he's here. I, I don't care. I, I gotta go. But you, you could just tell me... Eh, you know what? Never mind. I guess you gotta do your thing. Aw, she's... That's cute. Hoot! That girl sang her song in front of the egg! Her ballad of the windfish is a song of awakening. Did she actually intend to wake the windfish? I don't know, man. You tell me. The next siren's instrument is in the west. Play your melodies so the unliving stones might hear. Show your courage. The windfish waits for you. Hoot! All right, boys, we're going to show our courage by going into a cave and completely ruining the music. <laughs> yeah, again, the problem I have with the Tall Tall Mountain Range, because it has the best music in the game, but but it was also like so many caves that interrupt the music. And it's just like, what? Why? Because now we have a different version of... Tall, 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 tall heights that plays now, so that's good, but, but, uh, it's just, like, it gets interrupted by pieces of power, guardian acorns, it gets interrupted by basically everything, but, you know, we will hear the song at another given opportunity, which is never... <laughs> Oh my god, this is gonna take forever to hear the song now. So anyway, now that we have the mirror shield, we can, you know, just, you know, get this out of the way. 
It's not like we could have just done that with our regular shield to begin with. Nah, we have to wait until the mirror shield for that. Because the mirror shield is magical and ooh. <laughs> It's it's very magical, believe me. It, it's magical. Uh, my uncle at Nintendo knows. But anyway, here it is, folks. Tall Doll Heights with courage. Tall Heights is the best. Don't at me, but it's the best. Dig in this spot, and you'll find your last secret seashell. That is all 50. All of them. We'll get our reward in a second. But you may have also noticed... That we now have a brand new warp point in the form of Western Tao Tao Mountains. So, that's awesome. And you also notice there's another warp point right there. So, that's cool, I suppose. And, let's have a check in with our good old friend Orira. Bring, bring. Hi, it's Orira. The head of the turtle is in your way. Put life to it and it'll move. It's true, true. Bye, click. Sure thing, buddy. <laughs> well, it looks like we know what we have to do. Use this song that has only been used twice. And never again. Never again. The stone turtle has come to life. And we know what we do with stones, right? We blow them up. So much like in the vein of, you know, bosses with long necks or whatever. I don't know. Classic Zelda. You have to blow them up with bombs so that you, ha you can expose his face. In order to get to the last thing, the stone turtle needs to be killed. Or the stone guardian of the place. And now this is the point where you probably have to be a little bit careful. Because now uh, the turtle will cause you a lot of damage. Like two, two hearts of damage if you're not filled with defense upgrades. Because yikes. In hero mode, that's, uh, that's four hearts. So... That turtle thing can hurt. But it's nothing you can't handle already. Anyway. Uh, we could go into the dungeon now, but I want that to be all its own video. And besides, that dungeon, the last dungeon is the longest in the game. And I want to make sure I got all of my time devoted to it. So... We're just going to skip that for now and do some collection things while we're at it. So, the first things first is our reward for 50 seashells. And considering what I already told you about the most worthwhile reward being at, you know, 40 seashells with the Koholin sword, this one is not going to be as good. Even though you've collected all of them. 
You have discovered every secret. Well, not really, because I haven't really gone that yet. I acknowledge the proof is in the seashells you hold. I acknowledge the perseverance it took. May fortune bless you wherever you roam. My task here is finished. So you get a present, which is not going to be as good, but you get all this money. Heck yeah, you get all the money. And also a worth the, but also, yeah, but mostly the money though. <laughs> Yes, mostly the money. Mostly the money. But, 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 there is something that I've completely neglected. A part of Link's Awakening that's entirely superfluous, but is necessary if you want that good old fashioned 100% completion. And that would be uh, the subject of figures. So figures are entirely, you know, superfluous. But they are a part of Link's Awakening, so I guess I got to do it. And I'm actually going to use a guide for this because I've never done this before in my life. <laughs> All right. So, we already gotten one of the figurine figures already. And, thanks. Well, that was my bad. We already got one of the figures already, and that's Chow Chow. The figure that you've won in the Trendy game. And I believe where you're supposed to put it is, you're supposed to put it over here. Is this a stand for something? It says Chow Chow. Yes, I will place it there. Look at it. It fits so well with this figure, with this place filled with yip yips and bow wows and whatever. <laughs> it just fits so well with everything that's been happening and all that good stuff. All right. So next, our next figurine is... Oh, God. <laughs> um, so, reading all of this. So, reading all of this. This is probably something I should have checked up on ahead of time. Because every single figurine that we can get here is found at the trendy game. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> here we go, boys and girls. Hey there, boys and girls. This is the old pal Stinky Whizzleteats. So, basically, you can only get them at the Trendy Game, and you can only carry one at a time, which is kind of BS. Here's a Goomba figurine. And, uh, yeah, you can only carry them one at a time, and... Unfortunately, that means that you have to go, uh, that means you'll have to go back and forth and back and forth for them. Unfortunate. But you will be able to place them wherever, wherever the place may be. So you place the, uh, Goomba figurine at the, at the Marin's house. And there you go. There's your next one. The spiny figurine. Got it on my first try too, which is not bad. Again, it's like I've been saying, this mini game is not that hard. Made with real metal spikes. Wow. <laughs> yes, real metal spikes. Oh my God. Now, where do you put this? You put this over at the mama and papa's house. So you go into the house. It says shy guy right there. So obviously that's not it. Uh, hello. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. It's right here, I think. 
Boo. Okay. How about right here? Pokey new. Hello. Where is... Because I can't go any over here. Okay, here we go. Spiny, right here. You place it over there, and it's all well and good. Next figurine is the Boo figurine. Or figure, as it were. Now, come on. Let me get this one. Come on, Cletus. I got it. <laughs> this game's not that hard! It's easy, bro! It's easy! <laughs> easy, my brother! It's my brother! It's easy! As Spooky Ghosts go, this one's pretty cute. I'm pretty sure it is. So, one thing important to note about the figurines is that... The or figures, they're, they're not figurines, they're like smaller. One thing to note about the figures is that they will appear periodically in the game, so keep checking back. Um, keep checking back after you complete each dungeon, and also after placing each individual figurine, as it were. So, yeah, just, just keep, keep on that, and you should be. Okay. Next figure is a cheap cheap. Like we haven't seen enough of those already. Once again, I've been informed by me that this is not that hard. Disclaimer, cannot actually fly. <laughs> that's 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 cute. These figures are cute. Also blatant references to Nintendo, obviously. So where you put this one? You put this good old figurine at Orira's place. See? Now I force upon this figurine to you. And of course you're still really, really shy. I mean, of course you are. I totally didn't have to cut because this took me a couple of tries to get it, but next figurine it figure is a bloop. A blooper. This figurine says... It's not so menacing outside the water. This is correct. This is this is very correct. And once again, and also just like with the previous figurine with Cheep Cheep, you take it to Old Man Urira's place. And once again, I feel like I'm in... in I feel like I need to inform you that you're forcing these figurines onto everybody and and they won't mind at all because you helped out with their problems. This is all sorts of correct and all sorts of valid. Next one is a bit tricky because this one's taller. This is a shy guy. So... <laughs> of course, stop moving. Thank you for not moving anymore. I'm so very happy for you. What? Blah. I did it. First try. First try. Don't trust the fact that my ruby count is much lower than it already is. Don't ask what's underneath the mask. Oh, we already know. We already know. We played Luigi's Mansion. But I guess for the sake of time period, it's like, uh, 1993. Oh, wow. What could be underneath the Shy Guy's mask? What could it be? Anyway, you place it here over at Mama and Pop Pop's house. It's all good. It's all good. And uh, this last one is actually the one that we... It's the, it's the one that we, 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 we. <laughs> it's the one that's we, we, we. It's the, it's the last one that we've completed for now. Each figurine will appear only, and I mean only, if we have completed, you know, each and every dungeon. 
So basically, new figurines will be added every dungeon. Basically. And I, I may have screwed that up. <laughs> I, I definitely screwed that one up. Uh, give me a mo. Uh, uh, come, uh, what, what? Looks like it's switching there pretty good. Wait a second, I'll get it for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that, okay. Okay, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. All right, so we got the piranha plant figure. You know, the flower that pops out from the pipes. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. That one is particularly hard to get. But this one is not too particularly hard to find. All you got to do is place it in Marin's house. And that and that's basically it for the figurines for right now. Figures for right now. Because a new figurine will be unlocked each time you complete a dungeon. And until we complete our next and last dungeon, we won't be able to get all of them. So... We're just going to leave that for now and say that we've gotten the figurines. We've been caught up on the figurines for the moment. Yes, for the moment. Either way, once again, I feel like I need to remind you that this dungeon, this next dungeon will commit murder on me. But I did pretty good with, with Eagle's Tower. Let's see how I do with this next one. Next time on Legend of Zelda Link's Awoke, it's our final dungeon. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and...